what fails most often and what is failure down to in, let's say, a manual gearbox? Um, the most common failure is probably still main shaft spline wear. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the thing you, the uh, oil feed plate fixes, uh, the main shaft spline wear is the way you lose drive. Um, that's exceedingly common. On the earlier R380s, the main shafts can also shear. There's a stress concentration in the main shaft, which means there's a shear clean off and you use it. Um, lubrication failures. People change the oil on the engine every year. They never forget to do that oil and filter on the engine. They often neglect the gearbox. The gearbox develops a slow leak, a few drops here and there, the oil level suffers. And then once you lose half a litre, a litre, it's running at low level, you can get a lubrication failure, which basically cooks the pinion and the lay shaft gear. But we, we see a lot of those failures. Okay, the second one from Dan is, uh, what are the most basic things to look after um, with their transmissions when driving? So is it standard driving style? Uh, the biggest failure we have on Land Rover transmissions due to driver error or driving style is a lot of the Discovery 1, the Discovery 2, all defenders have the LT230 transfer box. The centre diff is made to take up the difference in prop shaft speeds when you go around a corner. That's a slow speed difference. If you go off road and you don't lock the centre diff, let's say one wheel starts spinning, then say the front right is spinning, the front prop will then thrash around like the clappers when the rear prop isn't, and the centre diff will self-destruct in a matter of five to 10 seconds, very, very quickly. So, um, and then it will behave as if it's locked all the time. It's not technically locked, it's just gone bang and it's jammed solid. So I would say whenever you go off road, whenever you anticipate wheel spin, are you on a low traction surface, block the centre diff. That's a very good point, actually. That's a subject we in itself. We see a lot of warranty failures uh, where the transfer box comes in with a blown centre diff. And we, where warranty does happen in this industry. We always give the customer the benefit of the doubt. But that is one of the few things we blatantly see as driver error and we don't warranty. The centre diff only breaks for that reason.